Hey everyone, welcome to the member dashboard area for the Pediatrics Board Review. I just want to create a quick tutorial so that you know exactly how to maximize this members only area. Basically there are three main areas that you are going to be using. There is this button which will take you to the course study guide in a PDF scrolling type of format. There's this button which will take you to the scrolling format of the online question and answer book. Okay, and then in order to access the online pediatrics board review course study guide, you'll actually use this right hand side. Along the same lines, when you're using a mobile device or a tablet, you will not be able to access the scrolling areas for the materials, but instead you can access the core study guide from this area. The scrolling formats are not available and the Q&A book is not available, but the course study guide is available, and that's through this area. To get a better idea of how to use your mobile device with this particular format, just click over here, and um, you should have a nice little tutorial. Okay, let's get started. So in terms of the course study guide in a scrolling format, if you click here, you'll be taken to a page that looks like this and there are multiple different ways that you can interact with this page. There should be a full screen button somewhere. Sometimes the format of this changes depending on how the software is being used at that particular time. Uh, the best way I think to use this particular uh, format is to click over here. This will give you a full screen view. The words will be nice and big and if you wanted to scroll to a particular page you can simply click that here. So let's just go to page 40. Okay, and here is page 40. And if this is just way too big for you, you can simply use the magnifying glass to adjust it. And if you see a link somewhere that you'd like to click on, you can click on the link. It'll open up in a brand new tab. You can view that link or view the image that you have been directed to. And then once you're done, simply close it and you won't miss a beat, so it's extremely efficient. Along the same lines, if you were to click this button right here, the online Q&A book, you'll be taken to this page, and you can do the exact same thing. Okay, now I want to show you how to use the iPad compatible version of the book. A lot of people like to use this version of the book on their desktop, and uh, if you'd like to use uh, the members only course study guide on your iPad, tablet, or other web-enabled mobile device, you can do so using the right, right hand side of the page. All you have to do is go over here, click on table of contents, you'll end up on this page, you'll see a list of every single chapter over here. Uh, all of those are also hardwired into the website over here. So let's say we wanted to start on the very first page of the PBR course study guide. You can click over here on copyright information, read through it, and as you get to the bottom on the right hand side, you can see what the next topic is going to be within the book. And the book does have approximately 2,000 topics, and you can simply go through them one at a time, just like this. And that way you can go through the entire book one topic at a time, and you'll be reading in the same order that you would be in your hard copy study guide if you have the bundle pack. Okay, now what are the other options? Let's say you wanted to start off in uh, on a particular chapter. We'll pick dermatology. You can click on dermatology and you will get a list of every single topic within the chapter of dermatology in order, the same way it appears in the hard copy core study guide. There are a few different key things to know over here. It says 1 through 11 over here. That means that there are 11 pages of topics. So this particular page contains about 10 or 15 topics and that means that there are 11 pages filled with all these topics. So you can either click through here and move through the book that way and find the topic that you're looking for, or you can type it over here. Um, okay, so now we're inside the dermatology chapter, and this is a list of every single topic within the dermatology chapter. Over here, you'll see the numbers one through 11. That means that there are 11 pages filled with dermatology topics. So that's how many pages there are to include all of the dermatology chapter topics that you would see in the core study guide, okay? And they are in order, so we can either click over here and start on the very first page and then simp simply go topic by topic like that. Or the other option is if we left off over here with psoriasis, we can click on psoriasis 
and then move on to the next topic by clicking over here or over here. And if we see that there is an image link or a mnemonic link, any other link that's associated with this particular topic, all you have to do is simply click it. It will open up that website in a brand new page in a brand new window and then after you're done looking at it you can close it either by clicking the X or pressing Alt F4 on a PC or Command W on a Mac if you're into finding more efficient ways to study and that allows you to very quickly look at an image move on with your studying as opposed to moving to an index within uh, a physical atlas then going and finding it um, or doing your own web search for examples okay now let's say that you wanted to start in the middle of a chapter, but you don't want to go through this long process from anywhere. You can simply just type it right here. Um, let's say you wanted to start with psoriasis. You can click that. You can type that in here, press enter. My platform will return every single topic within the entire course study guide that includes the word psoriasis. In my book, there are only two places where you will find the word psoriasis, and that is gutate psoriasis and psoriasis. And from here, I can say, oh yeah, that's right, I remember leaving off on psoriasis. So I click over here, and it puts me right back in the middle of the book within the dermatology chapter at that topic. And if I'm ready to move on to the next topic, I can simply click this arrow or the one down here, and then I can just continue going on through the entire book. Okay, so I hope that gives you a good idea as to how to use this uh, in terms of using it on the iPad. There's a separate video, but essentially it's the exact same. And um, just an advanced tip about when you use your iPad or mobile device, if you tilt it over on its side and you're viewing it horizontally, you'll get a much better user experience. So like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. And I hope you enjoy using the online materials as much as I enjoyed creating them. Take care.